Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So I am super excited to announce that Mr. Smokey is now back home with me. If you don't know, if you haven't seen, he was at a veterinary hospital. He had Sankolic and he was there for six days. But he is now back home. He's doing really, really well. Um, he's kind of needs to be reintroduced to grass and I'm going to go through his kind of recovery process and what the plan is with him. So he's back at the yard now, he's mainly staying in the stable and then being hand grazed to slowly introduce him back to eating grass and grazing as normal. He was fed um, a lot of psyllium, a tubed Epsom salts and various things so his stomach hasn't been used to having a lot of forage so that is what we're building up currently. So Smokey is back now, he's been in his stable um, since about 10 and I think it's about half 5 now. Uh, so he's been back, he is eating hay again now, so when he was at the vets he was on a forage replacement but he they, they've had him on hay for the last two days. So he's back um, just on hay, he's not on any medication and they're not brought him back on anything. He will be having more psyllium um, in a week or so's time. But for now, he is staying in the stable and I've hand grazed him. So he went outside and had some grass for a little bit just to help his transition back to being on grass. Um, and yeah, so this is what he looks like at the minute. He's been very bright, very kind of happy in himself. He's just bored, which is why I've put some hay in his Kong to kind of liven it up for him. Uh, he's got a rather shaved tummy. So this is the current look he's rocking with the curly hair from where he's had the braids in and the um, shaved tum, but bless him. He's been through the wars, mate. And you can see where he's been um, on a drip and had the kangler in, in his neck here. Oh, you, don't give him the sad face. But yeah, he's got lots of hay. Um, he's been doing, a, he's done a couple of poos today, so that's good. And it's just a case of keeping him happy and starting to introduce him back to the grass. Money, little man. Oh my goodness! Has somebody been laid down? Wowzers! Wowzers, smokes. And you drank some of your water, you good boy. And you've eaten lots of hay nuts. Oh, you clever man. Do you want to go out in the field for a little bit? Oh my god, you man. Oh, look at the state of it. No, no, no. No, uh-uh. Right, I know you're dying to come out, but wait your turn. All right, we'll stop. Stick your rug on, and then you can go out for a little bit. <gasps> Exciting. And it looks like you've done a good few poos. Well done, babe. You good boy. You sure. Right. There you go, little dude. Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna roll and get all dirty. Now, luckily, I know that him rolling isn't him colicking. He does just want to get down and roll. I think. Yeah, that's it. That's his roll spot. Ah, oh, he's going to be filthy. Ah, oh, Smokey. You dirty pony. Oh my god. And this is why he will soon be fully clipped so that I can turn him out. With a big old rug on. Happy with yourself? Yeah, thought so. Good. Happy? Feel better now that you've dirtied yourself and that. Yep. Good. Thanks for that. Okay, so Smokes has been out for just over an hour. Um, for some grazing and a bit of hand grazing as well just so he got a little bit more grass because his field doesn't have much grass in um, so he's back in his stable which is it was nice and clean until he kind of walked in 
and trashed the place. Um, he's got his Kong, which is full of hay, to keep him eating the hay. And he's also got two hay nets over there to keep him eating hay. And he's got his water and his automatic drinker in case he wants either of them. He's been very spoilt. And I'm going to leave him with his rug off. So even though he's got a shaved tum, I'm going to leave him with his rug off today because it's meant to be about 20 degrees, so he definitely doesn't need that on. Um, and he's a little bit porky, so it helps with losing a little bit of weight. So guys, I've just come down to do Smokey, who has obliterated his stable by the looks of it. Um, so that's nice, normal Smokey behaviour. He's eating absolutely all of his hay nets, which is fantastic, because we want to get a lot of roughage in him. And now, today, he's been turned out um, for a little while in a smaller paddock with a bit more grass. Um, so he's going to go out in there and we are slowly building up his grazing time. So he's going to go in there for a few hours today, come back in, go back out later. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to turn him out now and then muck out his stable. So here is this new little paddock that he's going to be staying in. So he's got all of this. I just need to sort his water out in a moment. Just need to clean that out. But yeah. I'm going to go bring him a hay net down because he has to have roughage whenever he's on grass. Um, he's probably going to ignore it, but we can at least try. But yeah, that sort of smokes out for a few hours. It's a beautiful morning. He's right next to the cross country course. So, um, yeah. One happy smoky. Just filling his nice clean water bucket up now. And he's got a hay net. So all I've got to do now is muck him out and then bring him back in in a little while. Okay guys, it is now midday and it's time to bring Mr. Smokey in. So he's had, how many hours have you had? Four hours? Four hours out. Um, well, just under. So that's your lot of time for this morning, little man. Come in your stable. It's like, no thanks, we'll just stay here and eat. So due to Smokey having been colicked and in a stable for a week, um, we had to obviously slowly reintroduce him back to grazing full time. So as it's winter, he well, as we're coming into winter, he will be staying in on an evening anyway. So over the first kind of four to five days, we slowly built up him grazing each day so that it became normal for him um, and so that his stomach could take it. And the vet said that once he was happy and once that he was exhibiting all normal behaviours and eating pretty normally um, so that he was on grass for a good few hours a day, then I could start very slowly introducing him back into exercising. So what we did on day four is he had his first very, very gentle lunge. Now Smokey being Smokey decided to spice it up a little bit, but all in all he was actually very good. So what we'll be doing with lunging is just very gently doing an extra five minutes a day and um, so started off with just a 10 minute kind of walk and trot then a 15 minute then a 20 minute and once he hit 25 minutes he was then allowed to canter for the first time and then once he hit half an hour that was when i was going to be allowed to ride him again So Smokey has been home five days, five days, um, oh, come on, no, you're not having the grass, you can wait till you're out. Yeah, so Smokey's been home five days, he is now on pretty much full turnout, um, he goes out in the morning, comes in on like late afternoon, um, don't you? So yeah, he's pretty much like full turnout during the day now, which is good. Um, and he's gonna stay that way until next year. 
is going to live in on an evening now. But yeah, he's going to stay in his little paddock for a little bit longer and then hopefully go back to a bigger paddock soon. Hey Smokies. So this morning Smokey's been upgraded, <laughs> so he's got this section here um, and some new friends to have a chat to but he's more interested in the grass at the moment. But yeah, he's um, he can have more grass now and be out for, like, he's out for pretty much a full day now. So it means he can have a lot more space which is nice. I'm just going to go get him some water now because this isn't actually a normal paddock. Um, but yeah, there's Brandy, that's Ollie's horse, who we ride with all the time, so he's got a little friend that he knows. So after 10 days of Smokey being back home and me slowly building up his lunging um, to the half an hour point, it was then finally time to get back on my boy and honestly I was so happy, literally all I did was sit on him and we mainly walked and did the tiniest bit of trot just for 10 minutes of ridden work, um, I didn't really ask anything of him, I literally just sat there and did walk and trot but it was so, so nice to be back in the saddle. I miss riding him so much, and I have ridden some of my other horses in the meantime, as well as friends' horses, and he felt so tiny after being on like big 16, 17 handers, um, but it was just so nice to be back on my boy. So the plan for the future with Smokey is just to continue the way we are, slowly building up his riding. I'm going to be doing a lot more hacking out with him um, because he doesn't really like schoolwork anyway so that just increases his stress levels so once we can get a good at least half an hour of ridden work then i'll start hacking him out and we will slowly build up again to jumping and everything all the fun stuff that we we're doing before so it's still going to be a long process it's not something that you know um happens overnight but i am just so relieved that he's home that he's looking really happy and healthy and that he's made such a speedy recovery so far so as always i'll keep you all up to date with everything that's happening either via my instagram if you don't follow me that's the best way to keep updated with all things going on in my life it's at little pet channel tiktok of course and as always i will be vlogging good boy I walk past the gate, you're going to stay there. <laughs> so I will see you all guys soon. Thank you so much for all the support, the comments and messages that I've received over the last few weeks asking about Smokey. Um, I've really, really appreciated it and I'm so happy to be able to make this video just to kind of show you how well my little man's doing. If you have any questions about colic recovery, um, let let me know in the comments below and I will try and reply the best I can. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all soon.